Hello everyone and welcome to the Elk Show. I'm your host, the Elk. Alright, we're back to episode uh, to the Elk Show, episode three. And welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the episode one and two. And uh, let's go on where we left off. Uh, we left off on Deli D. Uh, if I remember right, it was that uh, rectangle puppy there where we put down. Now, I think what the next move we might want to go into is uh, let's try doing a, a map. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I gotta need a map. I need a map. Well, a map is basically any rectangle or surface that you put on the ground. But with Deli D, you can make your own uh, uh, map. It'll be a low poly low version map and not very you know snazzy but you can do it all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to item creation over here and grab the grid okay the grid and then down here you can put in how many subdivisions horizontal vertical right now I have it set at 16 you can go higher or lower and uh, we're gonna leave it at uh, at uh, 16 each all right and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down over here to the corner and uh, grab us a section and I'm gonna take like I said you know, in the other video I'm gonna take the left shift key and hold that down in our left mouse button and grab it and pop it down let's say let's do a map about right there that looks about right boom uh, oh well, look at that I forgot to hold down the grid thing my bad okay let's try that again left shift key hold her down and snap Oh, why aren't we snapping? Oh my, what is wrong with this, huh? Let's see. Boop, boop. Unless I'm blind, it's not showing up. I'm not seeing it. What is wrong? What is wrong? Let's try again. All right. Boom, boom. Well, that was my bad. There we go. Well, I forgot. Not do not hold down the left shift key. There we go. Hey, we all learned, don't we? All right. So uh, now we have our little map grid here, and I don't like the size of it. So I'm going to undo it. Click the edit button up here in the top left, and click undo create grid. There. Now I want to get this baby but better and bigger. All right. So we're going to go to the top view. Scroll out with our center mouse button. And let's uh, let's pop it in right here, okay? Left mouse button, hold it down about there. Uh, there we go. Let's pop it there. There's a nice big map. Look at that. Now we have 16 sides on there, horizontal, vertical. So now if we hold the left button down, left shift button, and left mouse button, and select it. Now you'll see if we come up tight. Let me expand it. If we come up tight. Look at that. All right. You'll see I have blue lines, and that's what I like. So you can change your, your lines to whatever color, like I said earlier in your view options uh, colors, and you can change your, your your perspective lines to what you want there. I like blue. I can see it better for some reason. These old tired eyes. All right. So now I'm going to take that, and I'm going to go to vertice mode, and you'll see look at all those vertices. Holy man, huh? All right. Now, and basically, I'm going to select one and grab that and there we go there's our vertice we grabbed and I used the left shift key when I did that and the left mouse all right <clears throat> now we're going to go to magnet mode over here on the top right and in here you'll see a, a kind of a hill there a little sharp mount hill mountain and you have next to that a like a rounded mountain and you have a peak mountain and then you have a, a I don't know a pyramid but we're going to go with the more rounded and we're going to Put it, yours will probably come in at about 200 range. I put mine at 150 right now, and that's just so I click it in there and then she's changing your numbers. So I'll go 200. So there you go. Now it's just like yours. And I just come over here and I just grab the green y axis and pull up. Oh, look at that. We're getting ourselves a little mountain there. Okay. And you can only grab one vertice when doing this. So remember that one vertice at a time. You can't grab a whole mess. And just grab another one. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to bring him down. Look at him. Ooh, yeah, there it is. That's good. That's good. Uh, we'll come over here and let's have some fun. Now I'm going to say I'm going to change my range here and I want to go 300 and I want to grab this guy right here. And I'm going to go up. Look at now. Oh, we're going to grab that a little bit more, huh? Look at that. All right. There we grab that. Now we're going to grab another one. Let's say I want to change it a bit more. I'm going to change it down to 100 on the bottom right on the magnet. And I'm going to grab a guy right 
here. Let's grab this guy way over here and let's bring him down. All right. Look at that. Whew. It's kind of, it's kind of terrible, don't you think? I think so. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, okay. we can leave it. Let's leave it. Yeah, let's leave it. All right. Now, <laughs> let's leave that. Now, let's go. Oh, I want to put in a, a mountain. And I'm going to go 400. And then let's find another spot. Let's do it right over here. Let's do it right here. Let's grab this peak right here. Holding down the left shift key and left mouse button and grab that vertice and let's pull it up. Look at that. Now you notice how it went jagged there? That's because I wasn't tightened up on it. So I'm going to go undo verti magnet. There you go. And I'm going to get up closer. I was too far away on that. So we're going to re-grab that green with holding down the left mouse button. Grab that green arrow and bring it up there. Now notice how it came straight up. It didn't go oh, all over the place. It wasn't having a heart attack. All right, now we're bringing it up. There we go. Sometimes you have to get tighter on it because it just isn't, it, it doesn't realize where you are when you're grabbing it. Okay, so now we've got that. We're making our little map here. We're having a little fun. Let's grab another one over here. Let's do the same thing over here. All right. Let's grab this guy right, uh, we'll say him. He looks good. Left shift key, left mouse. All right, and let's change it this time. Let's go with the first one on the, on the magnet properties, and let's go with him. And let's bring it out. I'm going to go even further. I'm going to go 600, and let's see what happens when we do that. Let's have some fun. Oh, look at him. I braced up the whole thing. See how far up I brought it? Brought it all the way up. You know, I don't like that. So we're going to go edit, undo. All right. That was too far out for me. So we're going to go back to, let's say, 300, because I don't want the whole, see there, that's much better, much better. Okay, and it is going jaggedy a little bit, but that's all right, I don't mind. All right, gives it a little more versatile, you know? Look at that, coming down in here. Yeah, all right. All right, we kind of made some mountains, some cheap, cheesy mountains. And you can, as you see, you can play with it, and you can get it more refined, all right? All right. Now, while we're done with that, let's see, what else do we want to do? All right, we got our little mountain starting. Let's say, for instance, we wanted to put some textures in now. All right. Now, what we can do up there is you come up here on the right corner and grab our textures. Let's see, what do we got? We got some different ones. And when you come in here, there will already be some textures uh, that come with LED, uh, but you can add your own, okay? And it's not too hard to add your own. Basically, what you're going to want to do is... Make sure you're not in the program. Well, you can be in the program, and you're going to want to go in the back end. I'm going to go, I'm going to cancel out of this for a second and show you. Um, let's, let's bring it on. All right. I'm going to pop up. I'm going to go to where my install is, all right, and where I have my Dell ED installed. And basically, on um, our end, uh, I have a shared one, so boom. I'll come over here, come down here, and find my Dell ED. See my Dell ED here install and I'll come down and there'll be a folder that'll be called textures and in there I have all the different ones we have all the different texture folders and inside each one we have different colors this that that you know all that and all you have to basically do is add a folder and add a texture inside it and it will show up it will show up sorry about that it will show up in uh, uh, Dell ED in the uh, in the textures when I bring up my Material editor, it'll be in there, and then all of a sudden it'll be there. It'll be, you know, you know, different ones all in here. Okay, and we have all kinds. And if it's a bad one, it'll tell you bad. Oh, bad, bad, bad. All right. So we're gonna come back over here, and I'm just gonna grab this first one, test PNG. All right. There it is. Now you can set it up. It's a, a replacement, in other words, it's just a normal texture, an additive texture, a multi, mul, a modulated or an alpha blend. All right. You can set it transparencies up down here, reflection, specular, uh, ray tracing, all that. You can rename it. You can tag it, put comments to it. You can add more than one layer uh, of, in other words, I could put another layer below it right here. Uh, add it in. Boom, boom, boom. These are just things you can do. I'll let you mess with that on your own uh, uh, time when you have it. All right? There we go. Now we have it. Now, so if I come over here on the right, now my textures are there. Look at that. My new textures there. Now, let's say I come back to my map. Now I want to. I want to add that texture. So I, what I want to do is I want to. I'm going to go to right here and go to eyedrop. 
excuse me, I'm going to go to polygon mode. I'm going to select me a polygon, let's say right here, and I'm going to go material, and bam, I'm going to put material on it. So now you see I made material. Now I'm holding down my right mouse button, and I'm going to come in real tight on that. Look at that. All right, there's my, my texture. Now as you see, it's kind of blurry. We can fix that in a little bit here. All right, now, let's say as I'm, as I'm going along, I want, I want to add more textures to certain spots. So we've already have it, we already have it tagged. A nice feature about, uh, about uh, doing this is uh, you can use eyedropper. So say you had a, a couple of different textures. If I came over here, left select that, right, and go eyedrop that. See how I did that? I, I, I came over here and grabbed it. I'll do it again. Let's left select, left and select that polygon right there. And if I come over here, I'm in eyedropper mode, and I left click that. Look, at, it pops that texture in over here. So now I have my textures being popped in automatically. I don't have to run over here and click the materials. And that. So if the materials are already on the grid, you just have to grab the eyedropper, left click it, boom, boom, and it'll keep popping it all around. So there you go. Now let's say I wanted to mar do more than one. So, oops, see how I change that? Oh, I'm just going to grab that. Now if I hold down the left shift key and the left control key at the same time, oh. I can grab hollies, as you see, and now I'll go like that and look, at, we have that. All right. Now they're set. All right. So basically, there you go. We have our multi selection. All right. Now you're getting the gist of it. So now let's have some more fun real quick here. I'm going to try to do this up as quickly as I can. And let's get me some dirt here if I can or uh, oh, I don't want to cut some dirt here. Oh. No, no, we don't want to do Star Star Trek. No, no, not right now. Oh, come on, we want to do a little Star Trek. No, no, we don't. All right, there we go. Dirt. Hey, I knew I had some dirt somewhere on here. Oh, we'll go close dirt to there. We go. Pop that up. Now it's in there. All right, close dirt is in. So I'm going to say I want to put close dirt. Him, 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 and go to materials up in the right and grab close dirt. There we go. Now I have my two things. So now let's pan out. There we go. As you see, now the easiest way for me to do that is would be we try to go. I could go like that and grab a whole selection and bam, I'm done. But as you can see, I'm taking my time here doing this. All right, so. I'm going to take a five second break and I'm going to fill them in real quick and then we'll be right back. All right. All right, everyone. That's it for today from the KI Studios. This is the Elk saying, I'm just your common man going with the flow of life. Goodbye from the Elk Show and thanks for tuning in.